Hey, this is not a spring chick. Yes, we happen to be out at the beach today. And sometimes things look like one uphill battle. But, you know, don't tell the president that because, well, I think their goal for the next election is tax and spend, tax and spend. Does that ever work? I don't know. It looks like a big hill ahead of me. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Unless Republicans cave into Obama's demands for more spending, they have no chance of unseating him in the next year. Uh, I, I cannot understand that logic. I heard Charles Krautheimer said yesterday that they're going to have to concede every battle to him until the election because that's the only way they can get an elected, they can win election to the presidency and keep the House and Senate is to keep, well, if the economy tanks, they'll simply blame the Republicans for tanking. It's an, and and then what these people understand is they were sent there to stop spending, not to increase spending. So therefore, if you allow them to keep, if, if they win this battle, then, um, you know, then Obama wins the presidency by default anyway. Americans free from Iran prison begin to track home while condemning the USA every step of the way. I know, isn't that something that we, we know what it's like to be political prisoners and we need the United States government to understand the United States government must start releasing its political prisoners. What? Isn't that something? Oh you know, they said, but, uh, you know, George Bush and Barack Obama have done nothing but imprison people that want to speak for the freedom-loving people of the world. And $16 muffins and $8 coffee served in the Justice Audit. I know. Uh, and the Justice Department is trying to, to say it never happened. They got the bills for it. The hotel says they were never charged it. But I can keep telling people, do you think that a hammer actually cost ten thousand dollars? Well, you know the muffins and the coffee seem pretty reasonable because everybody else they have have paid for a three and a half dollar cup of coffee. I know they've never actually the people that are doing the surveys have never actually went to any place to eat anymore. I see. And Putin agrees to run for return as Russia's president in two thousand and twelve. And then the other guy is going to step into his position. You know, you understand the word dictatorship, folks. Uh huh. They just okay. keep. The law prohibits them, period, prohibits them from serving two terms. Not consecutive, but two terms. And so they're going to, you know, like that's what he cares about, the whole legal system in the Soviet Union. Well, I know. That's why, what, he, he stepped down the last time and still ran the country and somebody else was a figurehead? Yeah, so Medved's the figurehead. Now Medved is going to step down to prime minister. And he said that, why bother to run in the election? Because they already know that it's a typical communist election in which they, uh, it's already determined who the winners are going to be. Runaway steer creates chaos in the state. Yeah, well, you know, it, it basically, uh, okay, uh, they're big monsters. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to get hit by a steer. Well, they can weigh a ton, you know. Really? Yeah. Regardless of how they can go to 2011, they get around. Yeah, and they're all Democrats. Isn't that amazing? They're all liberal Democrats. And, uh, and want to change society for the better. And you do change society by raising taxes on those people that are unfairly profiting. And new laser could detect roadside bombs. Yeah, they can always detect a roadside. Okay. Uh, it, it's not difficult to detect a roadside bomb if you really want to do it because it has to have an electrical impulse in it to make it go off. So all you have to do is just scan for the impulses alongside the road or in the road and you're safe. I, I know that uh, that they're going to force they're basically more busing they're going to bus people from uh, Obama wants to bus people from other cities in now the cities to desegregate oh, serious? yeah what problem is the black kids don't like the way the situation is the white kids don't want it because they said there's an unfairness in you know like some people like in Arlington, Virginia, have a better education than they do in Washington, D.C. So they're wanting to bust the kids out of Washington, D.C. over to Arlington. Yeah. Yeah, but the private schools over there, folks. You're not supposed to be able to, but Obama targeting private schools now. And Michelle Bachman poses a deadly dialogue. Yeah, well, they said that was sort of a prophetic thing because her, she's, she's dying. In the, with every day, she gets further behind because... The, the, they were, they were never going to nominate a Republican or a woman. So, I mean, the fact that she's running is just wasting money and effort when she could be running for re-election to her office. They wanted her to run for the Senate job, which means that's not going to happen now. So. And 
Santa Block houses after a girl slow down, show down, escalate. Yeah, because they wanted to cut the, uh, they wanted to pay for the, the, they, they wanted to pay for the FEMA and stuff and all of this by taking money from Obama's Green Fund. The Democrats basically, the, the Green Fund is a slush fund for the Democratic Party, so you know they're not going to tap it. I know, and my father, okay, my father was a police officer for, you know, on a reserve for like 35 years, and my father was always amazed that how many uh, suspects in a shooting always killed themselves, and almost always they shot themselves to the back of the head. Oh, how did that happen? I know, but he was, he was amazed about that. Well, just, isn't that how you would kill yourself, you put your gun to the back of your head? But they never got, okay. Uh, most of them never got taken prisoner, which I always thought was funny because uh, in California the odds of being executed, or in most states, the odds of being executed for killing anybody is slim and none anymore, so. An FBI $2.1 million reward paper widened global system. But a guy's been sitting walking the beaches over where we're at for like 20 some years. First of all, I don't think that a war, you know, uh, the statute of limitations had ran out on him long ago. That's why they allowed himself to be caught, was because they know that they, you know, they allowed the extradition because there is a statute of limitations on most crimes in this country. Only rape and murder, you know, uh, or kidnapping have an unlimited statute. Hotel chain, this is upon a million dollars monthly. Well, yeah, because they don't have any, but that's what the Justice Department would build the government, though. That's not that they were $16. I mean, like, uh, okay, here's one. Uh, we have a hundred and thirty some dollar tab for uh, for a buffet for buffets over at the TI at the uh, at uh, Mirage in Las Vegas. Uh, how many times have we went into that place and we've paid a hundred and some dollars for a buffet? Uh -huh, yeah. It doesn't happen. Um, victim in Montana grizzly attack was shot by friends. Oh yeah, supposedly uh, he you know while he was trying to hit, kill the grizzly. One of the bullets hit the guy that was being killed by the grizzly. I mean, it was a bad act. Well, it was all a bunch of mistakes. They they mistook the grizzly for a bear they had a permit to, to kill. So, well, you can't, okay, there's no way of mistaking a nine foot tall grizzly for a six, five foot tall bear. Don't they know the difference? Obviously not. Uh -huh. I think they were trying to kill the grizzly and didn't realize that they were under weapon to kill a grizzly. You gotta have like a, you know, a 45 caliber to bring a grizzly down. Yeah, I think they must have been surprised by it. Yeah, when they hit it with the first shot, they, they hit it with a kill shot and it just got up on its hind legs. And then they, uh, you know, that then they should have just stood their ground and kept shooting, but they ran. Representative John Fleming showed criticism over $600,000 that guy makes six hundred thousand dollars a year and wants a raise in salary because he can't afford to be a congressman on that much money. <laughs> yeah, isn't that amazing? <laughs> that, so you know that's why the Congress is full full of millionaires, folks, is because uh, they 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 actually don't know how to handle money themselves. The, the, I, I know of nobody that's really broke that's a member of Congress. Yeah, we really go for them with that salary. Yeah. yeah. Roll over Einstein's the law physics Oh yeah, well, the E equals M C squared and the speed of light have now been challenged. They said that. Uh, they should have, uh, that, that, they said that people when they accept it as a fact should never accept it as a fact because they know that, oh, I love this one, that if he hadn't have been a Jew and it hadn't have been world, and a problem with the Nazis, he, they'd have paid no attention to this little man to begin with. That's sort of a racist comment, isn't it? It's also racist to me. Yeah. AP source, NBA, the camp, the training camp. Yeah, uh, because Okay, everybody, because the players are good, they're, they haven't even started contract talks because here's guys that walk in with a million dollars a year guaranteed salary to want more money in, a, in an economy when nobody's going to sporting events. So they didn't win in football, they didn't win in baseball, so what makes the people in basketball think that they're going to win? How's that spending bill has shut down the Yeah, and Senate then failed it because the Senate wants to, the Senate, there's, you know, we, it's too important for us to worry about funding it now. Let's pass it and we'll fund it. We'll come back to the table and negotiate. They never. It's just like they're talking about George Bush was brave enough to raise taxes. After he had said no new taxes, 
Well, they said what happened was George Bush, like Ronald Reagan, was promised there'd be cuts in spending. They increased spending by $20 billion after the tax rate it was. Said they didn't stop spending, they spent $20 billion more than they had to, be, to begin with, so. They need to stop sliding their own gains after the well, yeah, because they're going to do what they have to do, and Obama has pledged to print money until every press in this country is busted in order to just keep the problem in Europe from happening. That's the problem. I mean, he, he basically tanked the, uh, the, he tanked gold by a hundred dollars an ounce with his announcement he's going to print money. So. And Perry takes fire on immigration at debate. Yeah, well, Perry believes that illegals should be getting a hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay, the people that live in, Mex in, in Texas aren't getting their tuition paid by the state, but illegal aliens are going to get $100,000 a piece. Are you serious? All of them that qualify, which means anybody that fills out an application, can go to the state, go to a college in, Me in Texas at no cost. Oh, that's going to piss off a lot of people. Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, when you have to do, most don't anymore.